Clydesdale Homestead. I'm Tamlin. I'm Harold. And we put together this video for you to show how we made our rainwater collection system. This is the finished product. Two 250 gallon IBC totes. The guards in front are to keep trouble one and trouble two from chewing on the hoses. And we're right next to our downspout. The pieces we needed to buy are this catch a raindrop rain gutter diverter and some female repair hose repair thingies, a hose Y, and this IBC to garden hose adapter, which you need to make sure that you get the right size for your IBC tote. The threads come in different sizes, so make sure you get the right size threads, of course, are fine. We already had our RBC totes cleaned and in place. They are in our dog run, so we need to move the dog house out of the way to access it. We had 14 standard cinder blocks to place underneath the two totes. And why did we put them up on cinder blocks? It's already on a level surface. We put them up on cinder blocks to give it a little elevation so that the water could run out just using gravity. So here you can see the configuration so the two totes will share cinder blocks in the middle. We used one stack on each of the outside corners and then three stacks in the middle for the shared stacks. We started with a level surface so we didn't have to worry about that. Then we just aligned the blocks so that they were square under the corners and, and squared up in the middle. Then we repeated the process for the second side. A little lifting and wiggling and we had both of them in place. Under this little protective metal cover here, we have the valve handle, the safety lock, and the cap. We need to take off the cap and replace it with the part that we bought that just screws right on and has the male garden hose end to it. Perfect fit, yay! After the parts were dry fit, it was time to add a little Teflon tape. And this Wait. came with the kit, right? Yes, so just a couple of wraps of the tape and we were ready to final assemble. We're adding the Y adapter to one of the IBC totes. It's the one that I choose to have my drainage hose come off of. And then the two totes will be attached to each other through a hose. Should you put it up high? Yeah, I'm gonna put it up about that high. Okay. The diverter needs to be installed high enough that the water will run into the tanks. We also decided to put it up so high in case in the future we raise the IBC totes up one more cinder block level, they'll still have room to be lower than this diverter. Use the sawzall to cut the existing drain pipe. And not the house. <laughs> Usually. Ideally, ideally cut the house, not the house, just the drain pipe. bottom half of the drain pipe is then temporarily removed so we can put the diverter in. The diverter just pushes up into the existing drain pipe. It fits right over the end of it. That's it. Nice. You can see the garden hose attachment on the diverter. For us it didn't matter which way it was facing. Here I'm installing a retainer clip for the downspout. This clip came with the diverter kit. Next, the bottom half of the downspout was reinstalled. The diverter only added about an inch to the length and we had plenty of room on the bottom so I didn't need to trim it. If you'll notice, I put gloves on because the ends of these drain pipes are really sharp at this point. And then there's a bracket there on the wall. That yes, was this, there. Yep, this was an existing bracket. 
One thing I forgot to mention that you will need for this project is a sacrificial garden hose that you will need to cut up. How are you doing? Next, I pulled the cap off the top of the IBC tote. It's very much like a 55 gallon drum cap. You could put the hose from that diverter right into the top of your IBC tote and a little screen to keep the mosquitoes out. We're gonna screw the hose right into the top of the cap that we took off. So I used a step drill to make the hole bigger. In addition, I added some little air vent holes to allow air to escape from the top of the IBC tote. A little brute strength and the male end was forced on into the, the cap. We measured the hose back to the diverter very scientifically and then gave it a quick cut. The cap was then screwed back into the top of the IBC tote. The final length adjustment and then we add a female hose end. Then you simply have to attach the hose onto the rainwater diverter. Took the cap off of the second tank and drilled some more air holes in it and reinstalled it. Right. Lastly, we made a transfer hose to go between the two tanks. By hooking the tanks together at the bottom, it allows the water to be even between the two tanks. So as we only fill one tank, the water will pass through the transfer hose into the second tank and the water level will remain the same in both tanks. Okay, that's it. We need to open the valve on this side. It's, it's closed. Mm -hmm. All right, that's it. Who did it? Give me a smile. <laughs> we added this metal shelving to prevent the dogs from chewing on the hoses. We finished our project just in the nick of time. This is the upper level that this downspout connects to the one we showed you before. And this is the roof line where all the rain is collected. After a week of rain, we had about nine tenths of an inch of rainfall. It put about 350 gallons into the tanks. So some people are concerned about algae growing in their tanks. We really aren't because we'll just be using it to water the garden or maybe water the chickens or the dogs. And also where we have it situated is in shade, in full shade under our deck. And so we're really not worried about algae clogging up a drip system or anything like that. These IBC totes will give us about 500 gallons of emergency water that we can use to, you know, in case our well goes out or in case the electricity goes out and the well won't run. And I do plan to use it all every September, no matter what, just so we can have it drained for the winter. I don't want to keep it full during the winter. Do you think that's a good idea? Yeah, I think if you were to let the water freeze in the tanks, you could easily crack the tanks. Yeah, so we'll count on our spring rains to fill it, use it during the dry season and leave it empty during the winter and just hope for rains every spring. So thanks for watching. We appreciate you and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.